Uh, this is uh, 13thround.com here with uh, Juan Diaz two weeks before the fight. Juan, how you feel going into this fight, man? Man, I'm very excited and real pumped up. It's, uh, it's uh, the biggest name fighter mm -hmm. of my career that I fought, Juan Manuel Marquez. So I'm just ready, man. I'm ready to uh, get, this, get this show on the road. All right, he's he's 35 years old. You know, most of his fight, most of his best fights were at featherweight, and uh, you feel you you're stronger than him at, at this weight now. Or? Uh, I think so, man. I think uh, I feel uh, confident that, like, I'm, that I'm gonna be the bigger guy. I'm gonna be able to uh, if anything push him around the ring a little bit, and, and I just feel extremely confident about this fight. Now. So you gonna try to impose a will against uh, Marquez like you did against uh, Julio Diaz and Asselino Freitas? Yes, definitely. I'm gonna go out there and, and use my my talent that, that I've been working so hard for many years and, and uh, try to outbox him and outpunch him and everything possible. Now I know if if Casamayor could get to, I know Casamayor was getting to him a little bit in their fight. Um, you, are you going to exploit his body? I mean, what, what's going to be the key to you winning this fight, man? Well, I think, I think the key is going to be my youth. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm young. I'm uh, real anxious to uh, become the best fighter and the best lightweight in the world. So I think by me going in there, putting a lot of pressure and just, you know, I'm working them. I think that's going to be the key to, to my victory. Okay. Um, what do you think about the uh, Margarito hand wrapping controversy? What's your take on that? Yeah, man, I, I just uh, I think that's real unethical mm -hmm. and uh, real unprofessional on, on behalf of Margarito. I don't think that he should uh, be allowed to fight. Like uh, he was suspended for, for about a year, and I think that was the right decision by the boxing commission because you know you're you're in there risking your life. And, for somebody to, to use those illegal substances like that is just mm -hmm. unfortunate. Okay, you're fighting in your hometown again. Uh, how how you feel about you know giving the fans in Houston another good show? Uh, <coughs> man, I'm just excited, I'm pumped up. You know, can't wait till uh, till next week, next Saturday. It's gonna be uh, you know, one of those momentous moments for, for the city of Houston and for myself to to be uh, in a fight of that magnitude. Now, not to not to look past Marquez, but uh, you know, if both if both of you guys are successful with, with uh, if you're successful with uh, Marquez, are you looking to fight the winner out of uh, Pacquiao and Hatton, or so what are you what are you looking at after this fight? Are you are you don't want to really look too far ahead? Well, uh, you know, I, I never like to look too far ahead, but I think that uh, you know, it's definitely an uh, opportunity there for me to uh, possibly fight on uh, uh, Pacquiao. All right. Well, it's the 13thround.com with Juan Diaz. Thanks, Champ, for your time, and uh, good luck on Saturday, man. Yeah.